Hey guys, Richard from Digital Foundry here with an overview of the kind of GPU power we recommend for gaming with a 2560x1080 ultra-wide PC monitor. So, with ultra-wide, essentially what we're looking at is standard 1080p but with an additional 33% of horizontal resolution. To maintain high to ultra settings on modern titles at this pixel count, we found that AMD's R9 390 and Nvidia's GeForce GTX 970 offer a good experience. Less capable GPUs would work, obviously, but you'd need to take a hit to frame rate or visual quality. The 390 and 970 are both cards we'd recommend for traditional 1080p gameplay, and it's safe to say that in terms of scalability to the higher resolution, it's the AMD card that offers the best overall performance compared to its Nvidia rival, which relies on overclocking to claw its way back into contention. There's a misconception out there that scaling upwards in resolution has a linear impact on frame rates. But the truth is that it changes from game to game, and from GPU to GPU. The Radeon R9 390, already faster than a stock 970 in most titles at Full HD, pulls ahead still further at ultra-wide our six test titles averaging out with a 13% hit to performance in exchange for that big boost to resolution. That's a fairly equitable trade. For its part, the GTX 970 fares less well, performance dropping by 19% on aggregate. The effectiveness of the AMD card works out fairly nicely for the LG 34UM95P we had on test, as it's a FreeSync monitor, making it a good match for the R9 390. Anyway, we'll leave you with more 1080p versus ultra-wide comparisons on our two test GPUs, but in the meantime, give the video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and consider a subscription to Digital Foundry for the latest in PC and console tech analysis. Thanks for watching! On your right! Shoot! Them! Oh. Fucking hell! Ugh. Watch out! Ugh.
coming back on us. What are we gonna do? Hold on, man! Oh, oh, oh. 